All right, so here's something I've been seeing people complaining about on some of the Facebook groups I'm on. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people have been talking about this. Facebook is actually, as of April 15th, uh, which is next Monday, they're going to begin charging $5 per private party uh, car truck ad. Um, for a while now, they've actually been charging for uh, dealers to post ads on Craigslist. They've been charging $5 for, I think, dealers to post. Of course, many of them figured out that the private party ads were free and just went ahead and posted private party ads instead of uh, paying for an ad. So I'm guessing that's probably why they're doing that. A little history. I mean, back in the day, uh, if you wanted to buy a car, like I've been in the car hobby for, you know, probably 30 years, um, usually what you did is you you had to go look at a newspaper or on a classified ads uh, paper, you know, they used to have like Thrifty Nickel, Penny Saver, usually depending on where you lived. Here in Southern California, we had the Recycler. Um, the Recycler was this pet, it was an ad paper, it cost about a dollar. Um, they had it for different counties, uh, different parts of town, d- different recyclers. And a lot of people would actually, it would come out on Thursday morning at 7 a.m., and people would either go to a newsstand and pick it up early in the morning, or they would actually, a lot of people actually went to the recycler office where they could get it as soon as it came out. And they would literally just open it up. Back then they had like, I think they had a bank of pay phones at the recycler office, because this was before cell phones, and people would actually start calling on ads at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I used to do a lot of scooters. I did a lot of Vespas, Lambrettas, and things like that. And I would actually do this. I would actually get it, and I would call. And I used to pick up a lot of, like, vintage scooters that way back when there were, there were a lot more of them out there to be found. Um, come, like, the late 90s is when, when Craigslist kind of got popular. It sort of took over for the recycler because it was something where you could actually go online and type in your ad, and it would post immediately. Uh, whereas the recycler, you had to call it in and tell them what the ad was if the ad was too long they would actually charge you for it so you had actually just a definite amount of space for the ad if we went over a certain amount of characters they would begin charging you so of course you'd have to you'd want to abbreviate things and whatnot usually the operators knew how to do that uh also since they had computers they could see how many ads you've posted i think you're only allowed to have three ads at any given time um, if your ad was in there for more than a few weeks, they would, they would ask you to pay for it if it hadn't sold. So you usually you were, if you really wanted to sell, you had to put a price that people were actually going to pay you for it. And I think you could even call in and drop the price on your ad if it didn't sell after the first week. Um, whereas Craigslist, you could post as many ads as you want. Um, you got a lot of this just mess of, of stuff. You, people would post there were scam ads, of course. That's always been a huge problem on Craigslist. People posting cars, just taking pictures off the internet, having you like, oh, send us a check, we'll, we'll ship you the car, that kind of thing, which is insane that people even fall for this stuff. Um, you get a lot of people posting cars from other parts of the country, especially here in Southern California, because people know that people from overseas and anyone looking for cars, a lot of people check the Southern California Craigslist because... You know, this is where a lot of the car hobby is in the United States. So you see a lot of cars from other areas, so that would clog it up. A lot of people would post, like, multiple ads of their cars. I've seen, you know, where there's just, like, 20 ads in a row for the same car. Um, So, realistically, they start charging $5 an ad. A lot of these are going to go away. Uh, You're probably going to see these ads that, you know, I I call them the, you know, the Barrett Jackson wannabe ads or, you know, the I know what I have ads, you know, the testing the waters ads where people will take a car that isn't really worth a lot and try to ask a lot of money for it just to see if they could get it or get any responses on it. And I think that a lot of that hurts the old car hobby because then more people think their car is worth that. And unfortunately, it's not. And maybe they can't sell it. And I've actually heard of people just saying, screw it, and they just send the thing to the junkyard. So there might even be some of that going on. Uh, a little bit less of, you know, these, these I know what I have ads. Um, another thing, I mean, realistically, probably in the last couple of years, Craigslist has almost been on a decline. I notice there's fewer vintage cars on there. Uh, when you type in the years that I type in, I usually t- try to type in, say, 95 or maybe 90 and older vehicles. Um, there's a lot fewer of those. I think a lot of that has actually moved over to Facebook Marketplace. It's, it's moved over to offer up and let go. Um, because Craigslist 
has just turned into this just giant mess. Um, last couple vehicles I sold, I've posted ads on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. All I posted on all of them. And realistically, Facebook Marketplace seems to get the most response and seems to be where, where the more of the buyers are than on Craigslist uh, lately. So, you know, I think they've taken away a lot of that. Plus, on Facebook, you know, I hate to say it, the photos look better on there because Craigslist has where it, it when you post a picture on there, it actually reduces the quality of the photo, makes it harder to blow up and look at details. Whereas Facebook, the photo quality is different, better, as is on offer up and let go. Um, so I, I think that that's, that's going to be, I think, I think so. I think realistically it's already in decline charging $5 an ad. You're going to see fewer of the project vehicles, fewer. You're not going to see the people who are just giving away their car anymore. I mean, there was, I knew people that got free vehicles off of there because, you know, it said free this vehicle. I just wanted out of here. They went down and grabbed it. Um, you're not going to see that because people aren't going to pay $5 for that. The person might donate it to charity, which in case if it doesn't run, it might wind up at the junkyard or, um, they might just call a wrecking yard. It's like, why should I pay $5 to post an ad for a vehicle that I'm giving away? Or why should I post $5 for a vehicle I'm selling for a few hundred dollars, you know, for a project vehicle. So it's definitely going to hurt the old car hobby because you're going to see fewer of these cars available on Craigslist. Um, hopefully these people are on Facebook, obviously not everyone is on Facebook. Um, hopefully they'll post it on a different site or offer up and let go. I mean, currently Craigslist is the most known classified ad site currently, I would say. Um, so currently since it's the most known, that's the one everyone posts on. If they go on there and see it's $5 and not post, I hate to say it, it could wind up cars could get crushed because of this um my history on craigslist i used to buy and sell a lot of stuff i used to get stuff out of the recycler and then later on it was craigslist i i don't know how many scooters motorcycles cars i've bought and sold off craigslist it's probably a lot i actually got my mustang here off craigslist about five years ago my amc pacer came off of craigslist it was actually posted as an ad. They literally didn't think anyone would want it because it's an AMC Pacer. It had been sitting in the yard for years. They're like, oh, we thought we'd post an ad before we called the junkyard. I mean, which thank God they did because I wound up with it. And it's It's been a great car. I fixed it up. Um, but unfortunately, that doesn't happen all the time. A lot of times people just call the junkyard or call the charity organization, which if it's not running, usually charity organizations just send a car to the junkyard no matter what it is. So we've actually lost a lot of vintage cars that way in the community because of these donation uh, outfits. Um, my van came off of there. My set, my 83 Dodge van uh, came off of there. Not, not, the, not the Ford, the Ford, uh, the 73 Ford I have, which I have a video of. Uh, that one actually came from a local... Uh, a local car that actually was leaving notes on for several years and finally they called me um but i mean it's you know it, it could conceivably do that i mean personally i'd rather see them not charge five dollars and i'd have to wait still wade through all these garbage ads i mean it's their decision it's their business i just see it leading to a decline in craigslist you know which it's already been on decline i mean if they really wanted to do something they could do ads you know banner ads and things like that which they haven't gone to i mean i know you know for quite some time they've charged for certain ads on there i know they charge 25 dollars for help wanted ads because i when i had a business i actually i actually uh posted a few help wanted ads and you know i got I actually hired people off of craigslist but it was 25 dollars an ad so obviously i'm not going to post 50 million help wanted ads i'm just going to put one which probably helped keep that section in, in check. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I think realistically people are still going to be able to find cars. It's just hopefully some of the people that don't know any other sites other than Craigslist find these other sites to post these vehicles so, you know, the, the car community at large can can buy these cars and enjoy them and restore them and, and keep keep the hobby alive. Uh, so that's about all I have. Uh, my name is Mike Frankovich. Uh, if you disagree or agree, please leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe and all that good stuff. I've been posting uh, pretty regularly some car videos. 
videos of some of the cars I own, uh, videos from car shows and things like that. So uh, check it out. All right, thank you.